Somebody no, has... I am I am tabletop gaming. You're the tabletop not... gaming. Digital tabletop gaming. Okay, tell me about that then. <laughs> oh man, it's called a last game board, and it's the last game board you'll ever need. And um, it's something that they just got funded, so this is a thing you can actually physically buy. And it's play, gather, revive, unlimited play, unlimited connections, unlimited fun. And it is amazing game. Like this, this it's about yay big. <laughs> just, you can see my hands at home. It's oh, a 16 by 16 inch square. Mm -hmm. And um, essentially it's all digital. It's a digital and it senses your movements as you move. The, the video is amazing to watch. Is like it senses your movement above the game board. Um, there are several games that you can play on this. Uh, that they have and you can use this as part like if you you know i i think there's a pot there's a show you're a part of that involves wrestler sword mm -hmm. and dungeons and dragons that might appreciate this yeah we've been doing the top row of tabletop we just recorded in our session this past weekend um yeah. where yeah we had the wrestlers come out and they're they, this is a fifth session we've done i think since right before the pandemic started um and uh yeah i figured like what what better way to you know get characters in dungeons and dragons than wrestlers who are you know already doing some amazing character work although some of the you'd be surprised how many of them are just them uh so um but no and, and I, I think i'm wondering if they've been looking at something like this um yeah so. it's it's super cool there's there's a d there's several games that you can get that mm. um they're they're partnering with there's companies they're partnering with like riot games steve jackson games um, Encounters Plus, which is a DM, a Dungeon Master tool uh, for combat tra tracking. And yeah, but this this digital game board senses your movements. It like if you're one of the things it senses your actual movements. And there's like if you spill something on the game board or your cat runs across it, it recognizes that it's not a, a, a movement in the game and it will disregard, which is a really, really cool thing. Um, but you can throw imaginary dice just like, and it looks like the dice land on the board. Uh, it's really pretty. Like the videos, if you watch it, they're really, really pretty. And, um, it's a little bit pricey as you can imagine. Um, like the unlimited, what is it? I think it starts out like the game board itself. You can pre-order for six ninety nine, six hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, Yeah. Uh, but you'll get it by fall if you do the six months per subscription plus the game board. It's seven thirty nine. Uh, if you want to go for twelve months, you can get it for seven eighty nine. Ooh! But it, it's like it's it's really really cool. Uh, it's sixty four gig uh, flash storage, expandable SD card slot. Um, it's got what is nineteen twenty by nineteen twenty resolution. So it's really really like I said, it's really pretty. And uh, but yeah, you have to check out the video itself. It's it's really a nice, and it's it works with your phone. It's like interaction. It's mm -hmm. it's neat. So so uh, you say it's shipping in July, or, the, or I think I think they said July fall. fall. Okay, uh, but you can also apparently reserve your spot for thirty nine dollars. And mm -hmm. okay, that, that's why I was saying they will they will refund your charge if you change your mind before July fifteenth. So um, so if you are like that's a good idea, but I don't know about dropping seven hundred bucks on my game board um that's that that's an interesting option that they're putting there this reminds me of dropping a thousand dollars to reserve a tesla for some reason <laughs> <laughs> ah just throw a grand at it cool i got my spot to spend another 80 grand later right so i don't know uh, th no i think that's really cool I, I i don't know i'd be interested to see um if there's any hooks in there because i'm always interested in how do we like present dungeons and dragons and that's that's i mean we've we've had a few goes at it so it's really it is it's a learning process for for me to kind of figure out like what's the best way to you know film these guys and and and, and the board that's going on and everything i'd love to see if there's a digital um edition like there's a roll 20 i think that they've been using um when we were doing remote version of the of the sessions and um that you know you know is there like can i pull up the board like a version of the board that like in a, in a web browser or something to put it on video. Um, but I, I'm sure it's more for just them playing there. Right. So no, that's oh, awesome. I forgot to mention it. It also has sound. Ooh. Oh, it just looks it has like two stereo speakers and microphones. It, it does look like a kind of a custom iPad, doesn't it? Yeah. So, but so, so can you play, like if I had one of these and you had one of these, could we play remotely? So you're telling me if we both had our $700 D and D game board, <laughs> um, I didn't, I didn't see any, and I didn't see anything about online play in this. I think it was. But why would I need microphones? 
you can play with friends who own a game board or invite them over. So it looks like you might be able to do that because oh. it, it's Wi-Fi enabled and Bluetooth enabled. Okay. Let me play. Let me play. I think I think we need to order like three of these. <laughs> can we write these off? <laughs> we could. Is this a tax deduction? We could. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> So interesting that there's a fifteen dollars subscription, and that includes like their library games, huh? Game you want. But it, but it looks like so you can do unlimited play. It was fifteen dollars a play month. Play any game in the library, or, or you can buy per game. Okay. Like if you only wanted one of the games, so, and so that's all you're gonna. Whatever play. you're comfortable with, and it's gonna be a list of compatible games. Um, so eh, that's interesting. Real interesting. I do not. See, what's that? There's an FAQ. Can I play card games? And when I read that, in my head, I was like, imagining people playing solitaire on this. <laughs> it's a seven hundred dollar solitaire <laughs> machine. But it it has the ability to read tagged cards, so this is more of like your Pokemon cards mm. versus your um, yeah. solitaire game. That's what needs built in. Uh, and I see that one of our D and D players has dropped in on this. So yeah. So it's it's a it's a I will recap again. It is a seven hundred dollar game board. It looks really cool. It's a fifteen hundred dollars a month. I don't see exclusively like Dungeons and Dragons on here necessarily. I didn't I didn't see the developer of it, but um, but yeah, it could be it could be an interesting uh, uh play situation. So we need three of these so we can play our three player awesome cast uh <laughs> game night. I guess. Well, and I guess where I'm going with the remote play is like if I bought one of these mm -hmm. and I had no friends, <laughs> could I find some people that also had one of these to play with? Uh, we got a little asterisk. Uh, friends required for games. Um, <laughs> you know, that's let's let's. Hey, I know what that feels. I I did a call out because I saw Fall Guys was was for sale on uh, on sale on, on Steam, and I haven't bought it because like you know I didn't feel like there's anybody to play with because everybody's got it on PlayStation. And finally, I'm just like, hey, does anybody have this game that I would actually be able to play with if I got it? And I got, like, at least one guy, one our friend in California on the Mayhem show board. I was like, yo, I got it. I'm like, cool. Let's, we, we got a play day coming up. So, 